This is a case study for the YouTube channel Love Live Serve, and they currently have over 4 million subscribers. And this is a, a duo of two YouTubers, and they consider themselves, or they consider this channel, uh, a creative entertainment channel. And they make a wide variety of videos, ranging from skits to pranks. Now, although they have a very successful channel today, originally, they did not have a plan. They were just creating videos for fun. And it was when they got to around 10,000 views for one video that they started taking it more seriously and focusing on making videos that most people can relate to. And because of their momentum, once they got to 50,000 subscribers, they got to 100,000 subscribers in a couple of days because of this momentum. And although this channel seems like it's all about fun, they've put in a lot of hard work. They've made videos that they spent a lot of time on and got very little views, which is typical for most YouTubers. You'll find that when you're making videos, you'll make a video, you'll put a lot of time into it and you'll, th you'll think that it's going to go viral and the exact opposite happens and it just flops and that's just the way it goes and vice versa it also happens when you make a video that you don't think is going to go well and it ends up going viral and getting a lot of views so youtube is like a roller coaster it goes up and down now aside from the hard work that these two guys put into the channel they also used strategy they took advantage of trends to eventually get up to over a million subscribers and today 4 million subscribers. It actually took them about two years of posting videos every week to get to a million subscribers. And according to them, they did not take one week off. So if you also want to get to a million subscribers, according to them, it's simple, but it's hard work. You're gonna have to go through trial and error and you're gonna to have to make a lot of terrible videos in the beginning to figure out what you're good at. But the key is for you to just focus on making a lot of videos. Lastly, don't give up or slow down when you don't see any momentum and don't get discouraged. This is something I like to tell most people when they're getting started on YouTube is that you're gonna face a lot of obstacles and days where you're not getting any momentum. And I just tell people, do not get discouraged. Almost every YouTuber that I've done a case study on, I've noticed that it took them a while to finally get noticed by YouTube. And it just took persistence for them to eventually succeed on YouTube. If you watched all these case studies, you'll notice that all these successful YouTubers did things in their own unique ways. And you may have even noticed that these case studies sometimes contradicted each other. So for example, uh, there was one YouTuber, uh, Neil Patel, who transcribes his videos and puts it in the description for SEO purposes. But another YouTuber that I did a case study on, Minority Mindset, they actually oppose, they don't transcribe their videos and believe that it actually hurts their rankings. But the one thing that all these YouTubers, all these successful YouTubers have in common is consistency and also persistence. It took some of them at least a year to eventually start gaining momentum. So if there's one thing you're gonna take from these case studies, it's that you have to maintain your consistency. Try to post at least one video per week. And again, do not give up. You really have to enjoy the process of making these videos and posting them onto YouTube and also look at the benefits in the long run.